Uh, this is a problem. So obviously I've been riding a bike pretty hard, especially recently. And a lot of this is from uh, going to work. When you go on the highways and you go like 100 plus miles an hour the whole time, you're gonna get that flat spot in the center. And it pretty much cooked the tire. So you don't wanna ride your bike like this. Uh, luckily, the place to change the tire is only three minutes away. But you can see my chicken strips. They're getting down there pretty far riding with that fit. With them fast boys, man, they are quick. They ride hard. But uh, this is my own fault. This is my own fault. The, the way you avoid this and what I should do and what I recommend for you guys to do uh, when you get your bikes, when it's a new bike, used bike, whatever, uh, when you get it, you should order a spare set of tires probably after your first oil change. You know, like right around, you know, you do that first. Well, not the first. Uh, I honestly, just order tires, man. Order a set of tires when you get your bike. It'll be a lot easier. And when you get past, like, I'd say like about 2,000 miles, schedule an appointment with someone, have a place picked out so you don't run into what I'm running into now, whereas like I'm struggling to find someone who could do my damn tires today, like right now. Luckily, I did find someone, but you don't want to have to like do that. I should have already had that already planned out. I should have already had the tires, you know, picked out. I'm actually thinking and why I'm going to make this video is because I'm uh gonna put this out there right now this this bike takes a 180 60r 17 i'm actually really thinking about bumping it to a 190 um you know i know a lot of people think that that makes a huge difference in motorcycle tires but it doesn't actually it's more motorcycle tires aren't like car tires you can't you can't judge them the same way it's they go like this you know what i mean so a 190 is really not that much different even a 200 isn't that much different now i know uh race bikes they do 200s on these um, but that I don't I don't need a 200 tire, you know, but um, You can retune the bike too to do that and I know it's geared and all those things it, It's really not that much of a difference. You're just getting a little bit more meat the bike gonna sit up a little higher and So because that's really what it is. It's It's not it's gonna sit up higher. You know what I mean? The bike's gonna be like whoop, just a hair up and you you're probably gonna feel it It might be feel a little different, but it's not gonna be any it's not gonna be slower you know what I'm saying? It's like a basketball tie, uh, basketball. Um. So anyway, let me let me guys know why does every time I come out here with my phone, like a tow truck or like the loudest U-Haul truck with no exhaust, come by here and like just sit like right here. <laughs> every time, it never fails. But um, anyway. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think about a 190. If you guys have ever put a 190 on your Panigale, did you feel a big difference? Do you just keep the 180s on there? I mean, I, it really, I, I honestly, the reason why I want to put the 190 on there is because I don't like the look of that. It just looks a little bit too skinny for my taste. So, you know, it's a, like a little bit of a showy thing, I guess, but it doesn't ruin the performance of the bike at all from what I know about um being a mechanic and for like my entire life i've never heard of anyone putting a bigger bike tire on it and like ruining the performance so um but there are speculations of that so anyway just like i'll i like to pick your guys brains about that but yeah the tires on this bad boy are cooked you definitely don't want to ride your bike like that if your if your tires are that bad what's going to happen with that if you take that thing up high in the rpms where it's spinning so freaking fast and getting so hot, um, that's gonna rip apart and you're gonna crash. And that's not gonna be fun. Um, Cause if you're doing plus a hundred miles an hour, you're gonna get really, really hurt and maybe even uh, die. So don't ride your bike if your tires are, are that bad. I know there's tread on it and you're like, well, it's got tread. Yeah, but like that is gonna cause, a, that's gonna pop. You know what I mean? And then it's going to go flat really fast and you're going to be going really fast. So that's not going to be good. Hi. Oh, man. So, yeah, I can't pretty much can't ride the bike. Um, I'm just going to take it up down the street, maybe pick up some tires to see what they have. I do want to put the 190 on the back. I think I'm going to do it. Worst case scenario, I don't like it. And uh, I buy another tire. <laughs> 
no, I do want to try it. I think for aesthetically, it's just going to look better. Um, you know, my, I don't think it's going to drop the performance of the bike at all. Let me, like, like the whole reason why, again, like I said, I want to pick your guys' brains about it because you guys ride too. Some of you, I talked to my buddy Chris about it. He said, don't do it. But, uh, you know, more opinions, more thoughts about it. I really want to do it just to see. I don't, I really, I've seen Jarrett Campisi do it on the V2. They put a bigger tire on that. I've seen Ashley do it over in uh, the UK. He actually put V4 tires on his. Um, he Well, he put V4 rims on it, too. He bought a whole set of V4S rims and put them on his Ducati V2. So, you know, if guys do it or whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't affect the bike at all. So, at least that's what I am told about it. But anyways, definitely don't ride your bikes like that. Pick up yourself some tires before you have to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, get your tires, get your place picked out, get it scheduled in a reasonable time, and then you don't have to worry about like what I have to worry about now. So the bike is pretty much down. And I can ride it, like it, as, as far as I'll take it right now, the tire ha as it is, is about three minutes. <laughs> like if you take this thing up and high in the RPM, still in a hundred, that thing's gonna blow or it has a chance to. Um, yeah, so I would, I definitely, it's just too dangerous. It ain't worth your life. Like my buddy's like, I was like, I wanna ride, man. He's like, dude, I'm not riding with you. And yeah, I, I wouldn't do that anyway. I'm a little bit too smart with that for that. But there are people who are like, will ride like that. And like, I'm with you know, my buddy Chris on that. Like, don't if you're if you're putting yourself at risk with like bad tires or like your bike's not stable or you don't have gear or whatever. We're just not gonna ride with you, man. We're not gonna roll with people like that. So um, I, I'm a, I'm in agreement with uh, most hardcore bikers in the super bike world. And that asked in that sense. So, in any case, man, use your head, guys. Use your head. If you have metal tread showing, it's not like a car. It's all you got. You know what I mean? So don't don't think it's like a car. You can't compare these to cars or anything or how they ride or any of that stuff. It's just a totally different thing. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you shop at Raven Moto. Um, me, you guys been killing it over there and getting getting orders and stuff. So gloves and gear uh, the giveaway winner has been chosen he's going to get his stuff in a few weeks but uh yeah i'll see you guys later peace also want to give a quick shout out to our new patron members paul jesarius and brent tren 10,000, i believe it is uh the patron support is what keeps this channel rolling with the affiliates it's not google adsense anymore just google adsense is pretty much non-existent so uh it's definitely the patron members so i really appreciate you guys uh, for that so the patron link will be below if you want to become a member there's going to be a lot of exclusive content on there that i won't put on youtube once we get that to a stable level uh and also the bigger giveaways the helmet giveaways eventually motorcycle giveaways and uh, also that's how you guys are going to be best interacting with me i'm trying to be a lot more active on patreon now that there's there's not a, a huge amount of people there, but there's starting to be enough to where I got to start focusing on that a little more. So that link will be below, and I definitely appreciate all you guys' support, no matter what you do, if you're just sharing or liking the videos or commenting or whatever, or subscribing is really important too. It's like, please subscribe, that really helps. But um, yeah, the patron guys, <clears throat> thank you, appreciate it.